Okay, well, let's do a distance problem together. Now, the most important part of these problems is reading and understanding the problem. So, Jack left his home on a bicycle at 10 a.m., traveling at 21 kilometers per hour. At noon, so that's two hours later, his brother Cortez set out after him on his motorcycle, following the same route. If the motorcycle traveled at 63 kilometers per hour, what time did Cortez overtake Jack? Okay, so first thing, what is the question that I have to answer? Well, here it is, what time did Cortez overtime, overtake Jack? So in other words, we want to find the time for Cortez. Okay, find the time for Cortez riding the bike. Now remember, Cortez left at noon. So we'll find the time that it took Cortez riding the bike and then we'll add it to new. Okay? So now let's write down the facts. This is very important. So Jack left home on his bicycle at 10. So Jack, he left at 10 a.m. Now since I'm talking about time, let's just add in Cortez here. So Cortez left at 2. I mean, I'm sorry, at noon. Okay, so there's the time. We got that fact, and we got this fact. Now the next fact. Jack was traveling, so we know Jack's rate is 21 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we have that fact. Cortez was on a motorcycle, and the motorcycle traveled, so we know Cortez's rate. is 63 kilometers per hour. Great. So now I have that fact. And it looks like I have all the facts written down. So next we need to really understand what's happening here, so we need to draw a diagram. So we know they're both leaving from the same spot. So let's say this first arrow here represents Jack. Okay? So Jack, we know that his rate is, we can label it, 21 kilometers per hour. Now, Cortez, he's going to start later, and he's going to ride his motorcycle, zoom, and he's going to try to catch up with Jack, okay? So you notice here then, what can you describe about the distances of Jack and Cortez? This is the important part. Do they travel the same distance? Is one distance greater than the other? What do we know about distance? So we can see in our diagram that Jack's distance is equal to Cortez's distance. That is the important aspect right there. Because we know how to find distance. Distance is rate times time. And so we'll find Jack's distance, set it equal to Cortez's distance, and solve for what we need to solve for. Okay, so let's take Jack's distance. We know distance is rate times time. So what's Jack's rate? Well, it's 21 kilometers per hour. Great. Do we know the time of Jack? Well, all we know is that he left at 10 o'clock. And then Cortez left at 12. So we're going to have to figure that out. That's an unknown. Now, Cortez, remember, it's rate times time. What do we know about Cortez's rate? It was 63 kilometers per hour. And what do we know about his time? Well, he left at noon. Okay. So, let, so time is going to be our unknown. So we'll let T represent Jack's time. Now you could have let T be Cortez time. I just picked Jack. So we'll let T be Jack's time. Now, let's talk about Cortez time. He was on the motorcycle. Did he spend more time than Jack or less time than Jack? Well, he left at noon. He left two hours later. So he spent less time than Jack. He spent two hours less. So it would be Jack's time minus two. This is where you have to think, folks. You have to think about the problem logically, what's going on. Now we have an equation, and now we can solve for time. You've done the hard part about this problem. The solving, actually, is not so bad. So we get 21t equals 63t minus, remember, distributive property, um, 63 times 2 is 126, okay? 
So I'm going to add 126 to this side, and then I'm going to subtract 21t, and I believe I get 42t. And then I'm going to divide by 42, and I'm hoping that this comes out to a whole number. Let's see, 42 times 2 is 84, 42 times 3 is 126, yes. So t equals 3. So we solved the problem. So we made a plan, and we solved it. Now let's, in, let's write the sentence. So T represents Jack's time. So Jack's, sorry, spelling, Jack's time on his bicycle or walking is three hours. So Cortez time is two hours less. So is one hour. So he spent one hour on his motorcycle. Now let's make sure we answer the question. The question was, what time did Cortez overtake Jack? Well, Cortez left the house at noon, and he spent an hour on the bike. So then Cortez caught up with Jack. So Cortez overtook Jack at, overtook Jack at 1 p.m. That is how you do these problems. You have to write down the question clarify the facts, make a diagram, and do it step by step.